I'm pleased to be here with now with Keat at his home in Hollister. So, when people finish reading the book, what do you hope they will learn from it? I hope they learn uh, about life, what our life all about, and how they appreciate life more better in the United States here. Basically, it adore uh, the kid, you know. So they they should know that on the side of the world is life is not easy. It's hard. Uh, as you read my book, you can tell it how hard are my life is from everything. And then I come over here like we have everything: running water, electricity, store open twenty four hour. You know, you can get anything anytime. Uh, but not over there. It, it's t tough. And don't complain when you live here. It's, should we enjoy it? Yeah. Well, we worked on this for many, many hours together with you coming over to my office and talking and describing, and I'd write a draft, and you'd read it, and we'd revise it. Um, what, what would you say was the hardest part about all that work? It's not, uh, the, the story is not hard because I know a lot, all the story in my heart already, only to bring the, the bad memory to riot out the bad memory. So every time we riot, we, it's emotion coming back to me. It, it, only that hard part is just that like sad thing all day again, you know. But uh, the story is already in, already in my heart, so I cannot forget all that. That happened to my life. So, yeah. what was the satisfying part about the project? Well, finally we got the partnership that certified. It's <laughs> like a dream come true for me that uh, the, my story published for the whole world can uh, read. You know, it's it's just like a dream come true. So, what's been your family's reaction to the book? Oh, they're so happy. Um, Everybody happy that uh, you know, the, my my kids, basically my kids, they happy. You know, they already your story on the book. You know, they very happy. Everybody like it. So I sent a couple of copy to my sister, my brother, and friend. They all like it. All the kid, all the kids read it too. So even it's big friend, and they they can read English too. So they email to me. They say, oh, thank you, Boo. You know, they call me Boo and. Uh, your book coming out. They keep asking because uh, I told them, you know, the book will publish it, you know. And when it's coming out, I send them each one. I send uh, a couple of them to Cambodia. Yeah, they're so happy, though. So you, you would like to go back to Cambodia? Yeah, one day I will. And it's going to be a sad day for me when I get down there. It's going to be, it's not, it's not happy for me to go down there, though. But I will go down there someday. And give me a, uh, me a bad memory when I see my my village. So I will go down there. Mm -hmm. So you want to go even though it will hurt? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you want to? Um, because I have a lot of uh, aunt and uncle down there. They mm -hmm. keep asking me, and my brother-in-law, my niece, uh, they they want to see me down there and. They keep asking, and I, I say, I don't have time. And one my aunt say, oh, you better come down here before we all die. It's really kind of hurt, though, but I, I know what they mean, you know. They, they want to mm -hmm. see me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm lucky I, I met you, so you asked me to write a book. Really? You know, it's just yeah. exciting, too, you know, to, to get somebody writing your story and put on the book, you know. That can be last for a lifetime. Well, thank you for talking to me this morning. <laughs> and so people who want to see you mm -hmm. have this opportunity to see you and hear you. And uh, I appreciate it. Okay, thank you.